we're going to jump into first, Sonny. The aforementioned um, changes to the 10 meter safe zone rule. Just coming off of that, what happened in that uh, St. Kilda and Sydney game? The um, league has made effective immediately a change to this um, to this call, um, where defenders will not be penalized if both players enter and exit the 10 meter mm -hmm. zone. And this um, is in efforts to stop players from intentionally drawing a 50 meter penalty. Donny, your uh, obviously we just got a little bit of your thoughts on the rule itself. Um, that moment in Sydney and St Kilda was a horrible execution of the rule um and i'm glad that they made this week well, another good one that they made let's 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 change it a tiny bit is is that what the rule actually changes was is and i'd see and i've seen this a lot and unfortunately it's become a tactic and it's rather annoying is that basically mm -hmm. because of the protected zone what pl offensive players would drag their defender into the protected zone come up as close as they could to the man on the mark and then if they could split off so then the player can't follow them so then they have to run through the protected zone to get a 50 meter penalty the league has adjusted that to where now if that player tries to do that if the defensive player tries to vac vacates the protected area as quickly as possible they will not get a 50 meter penalty i understand this rule change here's the one thing i'm gonna say and i agree with a few mm. people i've heard I'm tired of the mid-year rule change. I really am. Mm. Like, I understand what you're trying to nip, and I really, really do. Just don't don't put out a press brief. Just tell the umpires not to call it and then make it an official rule change next year because AFL, I swear, I, I swear the AFL product, they change rules midweek, and it's annoying because – as we've as we've stated so many times this this year, the umpires have a hard enough job as it is, and this constant fluctuation of rules and how they're interpreted is really, really frustrating. And it's not just the fans that are. I and I I, I can almost tell the umpires are even getting a little frustrated because they it's hard for them to do their job correctly when you're shooting at a moving target every week. So. I don't mind the rule change. I think it's good because it cuts a stupid tactic that a lot of teams have started to do. That's just, it's so cheap. Yeah. It's so, it's not it what, it's not what the rule is there for. So I don't mind them changing it, but again, I'm one of those, just let it go. If you're going to make a change, make a change in the off season. Just don't, don't make a big deal. Out. Don't make a press release. Just silently tell the umpires not to worry about it. And we'll make the adjustment next year try to make it kind of common sense a little bit until they can black and white fix it. You know, I, I, I totally understand where you're coming from here, but at the same point, my whole thing is if there's a problem with the rule, I don't see the, the reason of why we should wait to in, to change it. I, I am okay with the AFL doing stuff like this where it's an issue, we're going to change it now. And to your point, I I kind of understand the whole, maybe just tell the, the ums to do this and, you know, the official leader, but... It's, isn't that essentially the same thing, just waiting to break the news to the media a little bit later and possibly the players as well? I like – my one thing that I like with this because maybe it's just because I'm a fan of some other leagues here, especially in America with the NFL and, um, and mostly with them. There's a lot of stuff that they um, – that they're not very – what what's the word? Um, clear. Um, that they're not very – man, I am, I am super visible. Um you, you guys kind of know what I mean. They're not very, they're not upfront with a lot of things. They hide a lot of things. They hide a lot of the rulings. They hide a lot of the reasons behind their calls. So I'm okay with the AFL being upfront with, with the fans and, and the players and the media with this. Just saying, hey, there's an issue. We're going to try to fix the issue right now. And this is what we're doing. Mm -hmm. I, I'm kind of okay with it in that sense. Yeah, I've, I, I've, I've heard there have been a lot of calls about potentially having the ability for umpires to rock up to press conferences and being able to address situations like this. I'm, I'm worried that opens. I would up, love that. I, I, as much as I would love that, I would, I'm worried it would open up a bigger kettle of fish than I really want to deal mm. with. Like, because one time an umpire is going to be legitimately honest that they believed that their call was correct. And it's just kind of, it's just kind of explode. 
mm-hmm. on social media and everything like that. It, it's it's already a toxic environment sometimes as it is. So as, as much as I would love that, as much as it would be interesting to get clarification, mm. I'm just worried you're, you're opening up so much drama if you do do that. So it's like, mm-hmm. eh. That's all. Like, I, I, understand, I understand. I understand them coming up in yeah. a press release. We're, we're looking into it. That's, that's perfectly fine. And I agree. Making a rule change mid-year, if it's an absolute necessary, is great. I'm almost one of those, I don't mind it being a subtle, quiet, behind-the-scenes rule change. And just to see mm-hmm. if people pay attention. Because if people start mm-hmm. noticing it, then you can come out and say it that they've made the change because it may be one of those where nobody says anything because it keeps the game going and we don't have 50 meter penalties that cost teams yeah. goals. So I don't know. I just, <laughs> there, there's, there's no perfect, I there's no it. perfect answer to it, No, but I, but not. I under, I under, I 100% understand how you're, how you're approaching it mm-hmm. is it, it does. It kind of nips it in the butt now to where you don't have to worry about it. Mm-hmm. And before we get into the next subject, the word I was looking for is transparency. Once again, that is transparency, folks. I love it when the word comes to you minutes <laughs> after you really needed it. That's what we're here for. Uh, but let us know your thoughts. Are you okay with the league making changes to rules midseason? Would you rather that be something that they just do away with? And um, uh, let us know, of course, because I don't think there's a question or not whether this is a good or bad change, at least on paper. At least on paper, this is a change that needed to be made, and it's more than likely going to result in something nice um, in terms of players not abusing the hell of a rule that uh, was made to protect the player that is doing the abusing. So, totally stupid. You kind of just screwed yourself here, so we're going to see what happens. Um...